Welcome everyone to Pride and Fall again, taking another stab at it as after the last video I realized that the Brotherhood of Coal actually is playable. So let's play as the Brotherhood of Coal and do whatever its content is. Yes, yeah, see in the country paths, there is the country path and it's actually playable because it doesn't say it isn't. So yeah. We can be Hardline Brotherhood, Reformed Brotherhood, or the Atomic Crusade. I don't know what that is and I'm not gonna read this, I'm just gonna try to do the Atomic Crusade. Okay, so we're back in the blue infested uh, UI. And there's territory integration, okay. Our leader is... Uh, <sighs> Rafav... Zemkiewicz or something the, uh, the elder I guess and uh, yeah this mod does the TNO style uh, small focus trees a lot of times thing we have five mills well we tried three guys and uh, yeah uh, everybody disliked that it's the end of the Euro Commissariats seemingly yeah, Euro Commissariats begin to collapse. Well, sucks to suck, I guess. Also, there are these decisions. I already clicked off two of them. Where we can export the energy made from the coal. And we get a sieve for free. And whoever we export the energy to gets one less. So, it's a win-win, I guess. As long as I have coal. But since I'm the Brotherhood of Coal, that would be a pretty good indicator of the fact that I have coal. Alright, this focus tree is done. I remove the anger. And let's see what happens next. Uh, minus 100 political power, great. Also, like, a fuck ton of countries are declaring war on everyone. So, uh, yeah, that, that's a couple of wars. Only three of which have majors in them. And this is the new small tree. Emergency meeting, more war support, as if I didn't have enough already. Uh, I'm sure you're wondering how I got here and what the hell happened. Uh, as for OBS, I'm wondering that same thing because uh, it stopped the recording for whatever reason. But, uh, long story short, um, I, I was attacked by the hooligans, and the hooligans also attacked the ZHP, and together we killed them, but the ZHP got all of their territory, because a uh, scripted peace deal moment, and uh, shortly after that, the ZHP attacked me, I could have attacked them as well, but I didn't think I was ready, and uh, to be frank, I, I'm not, I can just sneak while the AI can't. And uh, that's about the situation, they're almost capitulated. I need a few more large victory points, of which there isn't many. And uh, yeah, that's about it, I need some smaller victory points, all of which seem to be two victory points each. So yeah, I need a few of those. And uh, this is the new focus tree that's halted until I peace out. And yeah, let's continue and I'll be keeping a close eye on OBS from now on. Well, uh, disregard what I said about the AI being not able to sneak, I guess they are able to. Well, whatever. I'll just sneak them back, I guess. Also, they recapture this and this. So, they're still at 76. But, uh, you know, victory points would be good. Alright, they're 86% towards capitulation. Uh, I thought this would, wouldn't be this painful, but with the amount of victory points, um, it very much is. Especially since they all always coming after my sneaking. 
97. Let's go. Just a few more tiles with these fucking two victory point cities. What? They recaptured Radomsko. Well, time to re recapture Radomsko. And fucking end this war. Or not. Uh, don't move out, that you fucking idiots. Well, uh, where is a more than two victory point city? Five. Great. That's also two, but uh, who gives a shit? If I could capture Payouch no, which uh, disappears if I zoom in too much at certain angles. See, now it's not there, now it is. So it's the City of Magic Tricks or something, which is 10 victory points, then probably I could win. 96. Let's hope there's nobody defending it. And uh, yeah, there isn't. And 100, let's fucking go. Border go over. Everybody gets free coal, or since I'm an absolute dictatorship, uh, not really. But uh, we get accelerated electrification. So that's something, and only like three divisions died. So that's less than I thought. Where we can ask the consortium for a unification. And I can declare on the Duchy of Ellander, which is this thing. And it's also at war with the consortium. Uh, okay, so a uh, change of tactics. Uh, there. And uh, when they arrive, let's do it, I guess. Yeah, we can outmatch them even by ourselves. Technically, I, I guess these militia units aren't that shit when your enemies are also shit, so yeah, also I don't really have guns, as you can see, but uh, we'll, it'll do. And after this, I guess we can get the flower consortium for free, maybe. Alright, that was that was a breath of fresh air, we could say, because I didn't have to micro everything. So yeah, let's ask the flower consortium if they want to be friends and, um, and get two guys from Ellender. Well, shit. Okay, another war then. Um, they're at war with the free city of Woods. Alright, that's uh, okay enough distraction, but uh, I'm guessing these aren't my cores, yeah, so I need to go back to this side of the border and let the event tick away by itself. Alright, let's take a foray into the flower consortium. Well, they are outnumbered. That's for sure. At least. And again, I got stalled in the focus tree. Well, they can invade here all they want, have fun garrisoning them. Oh, I can core the the conquered territories, but uh, they need to have 75 compliance and at 90% they'll be cored automatically well, what are they at? Uh, 60, 54, 30, 58 alright, then just wait I guess also the flower consortium is as good as dead yep, there we go now I can do the guarantee of normality, and normality seems to be war, because the next focus is declaring war on the free city of Wuj. And let me guess, after that, the uh, Zona. 
All right, let's fucking finish this. After this stability, less recruitable pop, and uh, whatever this is. All right, the free cities not gonna be hard. They have packed victory points. All right, I fucked them up pretty much. 97% so probably when these three encirclements go through it's game over for them 97 probably 98 100 yay so all that remains is the zona everything else is uh, coal so uh, yeah also a lot of states get less infrastructure from this why? Oh, I can make a lot more energy offerings. I do have a shit ton of energy, so... So why not? I I would appreciate the sieves. And I can unify the Vuj Voivod ship, which is a requirement for this. And I'll be known as... The... The same Brotherhood of Coal. Okay, then. Or... Yeah, the cosmetic tag doesn't change, so... Whatever. And Project Sarcophagus. Come on, we gotta do something with this rotting wasteland. Yeah, like, not do worse to it, because I'm... Because I'm still, like, internally shell-shocked from that microwing. And the two sudden wars. Alright, let's uh, lick our wounds. I guess, and get another focus tree in a bit. We need to build a wall. Um, sure, I guess. Standoff in Moscow. Uh, Moscow isn't on the map, so. The fuck? There's a China. Okay, uh, they're Maoist. Um, and the leader is, is Xi Jinping, but the party name is Jongo Gong question mark the question mark Well, I get uh, blackouts after the nobody liking policy in the beginning. Um, even though I. Oh. Okay, uh, seems like I was exporting a bit too much energy, but uh, not to worry. Totally, I'm building a lot more coal power plants, because that's pretty much the only thing I've been building this whole playthrough. The export was a looming catastrophe. Do not fuck this up. Uh, thanks. Uh, to complete got rid of energy deficit using only brotherhood coal deposits. I can just fucking blow up Vuj. And I get an atomic plot. Maybe that's the atomic crusade. And now I can core shit for political power, which I have a lot of. So now I have cores. Yay. And minus 1000... Uh, energy use and uh, all my meals are dead I guess I need the coal yeah that halved my deficit oh now I don't have a deficit maybe that's because I imported coal uh, too much of it well then um, oh it's only from the brotherhood coal deposits so it doesn't so trade doesn't count i guess well uh, that sucks let's hope uh, it's just uh, removing the blackouts but there shouldn't be any blackouts anymore because i fucking imported the coal to make energy which shouldn't cause blackouts but uh, okay in theory i shouldn't have the Oh yeah, 
now it now it's completed okay i didn't fuck this up apparently exclusion zone is safe uh is it an exclusion zone all right who cares they become a puppet of me and it will be known as the dolina atomove zagwadi in two weeks okay so now i have subjects valley of atomic doom that sounds badass not gonna lie but this is still the the zona um yeah and now a curious find okay well whatever that is Minus three manpower and more research speed and that's it and more coring. Oh, it's Almost all of them. That's pretty good Let's see what it looks like. Oh neat. I Finally removed the blackout. Let's go Now I have even more of a monopoly on energy also, almost a million poles have died thus far, uh, and it looks a lot less balkanized than in the start, but still balkanized as fuck. Also, the Lizard Union is winning, and uh, now there's only this many wars. Okay, so, I've done this focus tree, except for this, I need to unify the region, and... Uh, I'm gonna do that in the next video, because this is already getting very very long, so yeah, and I'm getting sick of war, kinda. So next year, in 2033, I can do the War of Vujura Region Unification, which is like these guys over here. So uh, look forward to the next episode, I guess, if you wanna see more of this. And the Brotherhood of Coal actually does have content. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and whatever. And see you in the next one. Bye.